as human population continues to grow, with projections of 9.7 billion by 2050, lands will continue to be developed. We will focus on the changes that occurred in one geographical area over the years. The area of interest for this activity is Fishers, Indiana. This area changed from a deciduous forest to a cultivated land to its current developed state. This is a map of the current land use in Fishers, Indiana. This activity, we will focus on the area within the black box. Using the table and the applied hydrology book, I was able to determine the different curve numbers associated with the different land uses of Fishers, Indiana. Using the NRCS website, I was able to determine that Fishers, Indiana has a soil type as C. Here are the values that I will be using during this activity. The next step was to determine the composite curve numbers. In order to determine this, I broke the designated area into five separate sub-basins. I measured the area of each different land use in each different sub-basin. Once I finished with this, I inputted the data into Excel. Once in Excel, I calculated the composite curve numbers for each sub-basin. After this was calculated, HMS 4.2.1 was used to simulate the hydrograph for the city of Fishers with different types of land use. This is what the program looks like when first opened. Once I inputted all the data, this was the resulting model. You can see that I included all subbasins and had them drain to a single outflow. I then created three separate runs, one for forested land, one for cultivated land, and one for developed land. Above shows the result for forested land. This is the result for the cultivated land. This is the result for the developed land. These are the hydrographs of each run. We notice that the cultivated land has a higher peak than that of both the developed land and the forested land. While the outflow will never quite match that of the original habitat, the change in Fishers, Indiana is not as severe as was expected.